Well, I'm slowly making headway with my bottom shelf. And I came across one board here that was bowed up. So I put a board on top of it to protect it. Put a car jack on there. And one of the pallet skid runners as a vertical leverage against a, the top header, which is clamped all the way down to the bottom so it's pushing against uh, the bottom right directly underneath the board so we just had to straighten that out and hopefully with the glue in there it'll be dried up by morning and I can continue on I've been working on my tool stand and it's coming together got the floor in it and uh, I got my half inch rabbits cut here this is actually the back side that's going to have panels in it the right side has rabbits to for the panels for it and i haven't decided if i'm going to put doors or just leave it open on the front but i'm really loving my 13 inch rigid surface planer it's work it's doing just exactly what i want it to for uh planing down the pallet wood my Bottom shelves were actually three quarter inch thick. So if you can see the bow in here, that's why I cut them down to three and a half inches wide so that I don't think I could have got a three quarter inch piece out of that piece that's bowed so bad. So with the three quarter inch pieces done on these side panels, I'm just going to use uh, half inch because I cut this rabbit that you see right there one half inch deep and of course with my router you can't hardly see it there you can uh, there's actually a radius here so I've taken I went back to my old drawer and found one of my electronic drafting stencils that I used in college and uh, just ran the the line straight so I could get a, a corner as you see there and then I used my homemade mallet that I made a few episodes ago and my chisel and I'm making these corners straight so on these instead of cutting them down since I was going to use half inch panels I could get half inch out of them so I just left them in here and I've got three boards glued up now and they are a half inch thick and here in just about 20 minutes or so I'll take my chisel and knock all the glue pieces that are seeping out of the joints uh, then that'll be squared up it's oversized right now so that I can plane it where I've had my jaws of life down there holding it together I'll plane that off and then I'll put it in the table saw. Whoop, excuse me. I'll plane that off and then put it in the table saw and cut it to the proper width. And then, uh, the best of my ability, I'll just use my. I wish I had a, a sled, but I'll just use my miter square and, and cut it to length as square as I can. And then glue and screw it into this rabbited joint and then I'll do the same over here I'm doing them separately because there is about a sixteenth of an inch difference in the width of these so I'm gonna ha I have to make my panels separate so I'll just make them one at a time so we'll see you in the next few steps <laughs> 